This is the second part of a two-part series on having a difficult conversation with your senior. Uh, today, we're going to go into some of the common hot button topics, um, starting first uh, with that driver's license. Now, nobody wants to lose their independence when it comes to driving, but at some point in time, it's gonna happen to us all where we have to put those keys away. Um, so, have you ever started to wonder, like, if your senior is still safely able to operate a motor vehicle? Well, let's start with some stats. Over 45 million licensed drivers are age 65 and older. Um, that's one out of every five drivers on the road. Um, seniors as, as a whole um, have a higher death rate. Um, 22 seniors die in car crashes every day. 580 are injured. Um, so how do you know when your senior should stop driving? Well, if they start hitting curbs, that's probably a pretty good sign. Uh, when they're having delayed responses, um, when they become easily distracted while driving, you know, they start fiddling with the radio, they start um, not paying attention to the road, um, could be a very good sign um, that, you know, things need to change. Um, when they have that lack of confidence, um, especially during high traffic uh, situations and nighttime driving. Now, you are probably going to have to get into that car with your senior and just kind of get a judge of how things are going uh, driving-wise. Um, uh, when they have that inability to do basic maneuvers, when they can't back up out of the driveway, when they can't pull into a parking space um, anymore, um, unable to define colors at traffic lights. Uh, we had an aunt. Um, who would just wait for the person behind her to beep at her and then she knew the light was green and it was time to go. Um, her license probably should have been taken away. Um, get their doctors involved. Um, most seniors will listen uh, to their doctor. Um, most states have certain rules um, for older drivers to determine if their vision and reflexes are still good. Uh, so you can just check with your state to find out what are the driver's license renewal procedures um, for senior citizens. Um, does your senior have a will or trust? Now, this comes up a lot and this causes uh, usually a lot of problems in the family. Um, sometimes uh, the seniors don't want to discuss finances, which is, which is fine, but um, it's important when they're doing their estate planning that someone knows what the estate planning entails. Um, you need to be able to find it. You, you need to be able to know what it entails, what they want, what their wishes are. Um, it's, it's really pretty important. 64% um, of Americans do not have a will or trust. Um, so if something happens, then it will all go into probate um, to determine where, um, where the money should go. Um, and it's just, it costs you more money, you need to hire an attorney. Um, it's really kind of a big deal. Um, so you want to maybe make sure uh, that your senior has some sort of estate planning in place. Um, and for those that are over the age of 55, only 51% have made estate plans. Um, and of those, only 57% have discussed those plans. So they have the plans, but they have not discussed them with anyone. So everyone's left in the dark if something happens. Um, does your senior have a plan in place for long-term care? Uh, most seniors don't like to think about the future, but it's important to know, again, this is a conversation over time. Don't pressure your senior to give you answers. Um, an easy intro to this one is to bring up someone they may know who has entered into a long care term facility, um, asking your senior what they think um, more times than not, that will get that conversation uh, going. It's, it's okay to go and tour a couple of places, um, find out what they entail, find out what the cost is, how it's paid for. Um, these are things that you don't wanna wait until the end uh, to do because you're going to feel rushed. And when you feel rushed, you're gonna feel pressure, you're gonna feel guilty. So that's something that you need to do um, ahead of time. Um, and when you have all that in place, then you know you're doing the right thing for your senior and you're gonna have that confidence um, to make those decisions for your loved one. Um, 
when it's time to sell that house. Now, this is another huge one. Uh, nobody wants to leave their house. Um, nobody wants to move. Nobody wants to sell their home. Um, it's usually a big deal. It's usually a lot of work. Um, you know, uh, show as much patience and, and empathy as you can. Most seniors have lived in their houses decades, um, and it's where they raise their family, and it's where all their best memories are. Um, this is where they feel safe. Um, this is a big conversation, and again, something that needs to, um, to be processed. You know, they need time to think about what you're asking of them to do. Um, let them be part of the process. Um, they need to be part of the decision making. Um, of course, you know, we're all about hurry, 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 quick, 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 let's just get it done. Um, but please keep your senior at the forefront of decision making. Um, let them help you pack. Um, be thoughtful about their items. Um, their most treasured items rarely have any value and you may be quick to throw things away, um, but that you really should not do. Um, let them have a say. Um, make some room at your own home um, and put those items aside. Um, you know, it's their possessions and nobody wants to have their possessions thrown away or feel like they are not of any worth. Um, just something to think about, something to keep in mind when you're thinking about selling that house. Um, when that money is, is, is in an account, um, you need to know what that money is going to be for. Is that going to be for their long-term care? Is that for insurances? You need to kind of plan out. Um, and this is where an estate planning um, attorney comes in very, very handy. They know the rules. They know um, what is best uh, way to, to use that money. Um, so always have yourself an attorney. It, it just makes life a lot easier when it comes to wills, estates, um, selling of that house. Um, it's very, very important. Um, you know, talking with your senior can be a rough road, um, especially when it's a parent. Uh, most children revere their parents and it is a tough role reversal. Um, but remembering to start early, uh, keep those lines of communication open and you may find your loved one leaning on you um, more and more for your advice. Mm -hmm.